Have you ever used a pencil? Worn a bracelet? Walked on a sidewalk? Then you've used something made from rocks or minerals. These natural materials aren't just found deep underground, they're part of your everyday life. From the toothpaste you brush with in the morning to the tiles beneath your feet, rocks and minerals are everywhere. Rocks are made of minerals, solid substances found in nature with special colors, textures, and properties. Some materials are shiny, some are rough, some are soft enough to scratch, and others are strong enough to build entire buildings. Long ago, people used these materials to make tools, weapons, pottery, and even paints. Today we still use them, but in new ways. Let's take a closer look. The graphite inside your pencil is a mineral. So is the salt you sprinkle on your food. The granite on kitchen counters? That's a type of igneous rock. Even chalkboards, computer chips, bike helmets, and batteries can include minerals. Different rocks and minerals are chosen for different jobs based on their strength, color, or softness. And sometimes something very old becomes something very modern. Once you understand how rocks and minerals are used, you'll start noticing them in more places. You might realize that the sidewalk you walk on is made from crushed stone. Or that your favorite necklace is made from polished quartz or amethyst. These natural materials connect the Earth's surface to the things we use and wear every day. Now it's your turn to connect science to your own life. Here's your creative challenge. You're going to write one paragraph about something you use or see that's made from rock or mineral material. You'll explain what it is, how it's used, and why the rock or mineral is a good choice for the job. In your paragraph, choose one real object that's made from a rock or mineral. Describe what it's made from and how it's used in your life. Explain why that material is useful. Use science terms like mineral, property, rock, and material. Be observant and thoughtful. Use what you've learned about rocks and minerals. You don't need to be a geologist. You just need to notice the science behind the things around you.